Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're basically gonna be doing a um updated press on nail business video. If you guys not have already seen my previous press on nail business video, make sure you check it out. But basically, that video had got me over um almost three hundred thousand views. So that video is what actually you know like put my channel out there. Um, I also don't want to take credit away from my very first press on nail youtube video that video actually did some great numbers so my very first video on my channel that basically um kind of put me on the map on youtube when it came to press on nails so i my channel did grow a lot from that video but the press on nail video that has over 200,000 views that one is kind of what like blew my channel up you know because at the time everybody was you know everybody was you know learning how to do press on nails and so that's really how my channel blew up so anyways i just want to say thank you to everyone who been subscribed to me since that video um anyone who has contributed into you know making my channel a success and making that video a success um and just anyone who loves press on nails just as much as me because if it wasn't for you guys then you know my channel wouldn't be where it is right now so um so anyways we are going to be doing an updated video like i said on the press on nail business basically we are going to be doing three sets today so i have my nails out already we are going to be doing three sets for this video um showing you guys how i make press ons and um we're just going to be discussing my journey in the press on nail business we're going to be discussing um you know just how i started why i started um where i am at now and just my journey in general you know like my trials and tribulations um just everything that i've been through when it comes to selling press on nails in my business and just you know all that good stuff so also in my previous video i have gotten a lot of comments that i have not really been able to um respond to so i do kind of just want to do like a little kind of q a um answering a lot of you guys's frequently asked questions it was a lot of repetitive questions under that video so for the most part even though you guys know how i feel when it comes to talk throughs and voiceovers this video is probably gonna end up being a full-on talk through like in-depth um in-depth video on how on like the press on nail business the press on nail journey how to start your business the things you will need we're gonna get we're gonna get into everything in this video so yeah so we're just gonna get started um so we're just gonna move these out the way real quick um so before we move these out the way um so we're gonna be doing three in my previous video i only did uh i did three sets of these coffin um ballerina shaped nails as you can see so i did like i did a cow print set a butterfly set and a black a uh, solid black set using these nails right here i feel like back and that at that time when i did that video i felt like these were like the only shaped press-ons that um that were selling at the time so it wasn't like you know the xl full cover tip there wasn't like full cover stiletto tips there wasn't anything like that it was mainly like these and probably the short square and uh i guess maybe almond and short um yeah like short almond stiletto-ish type of set <laughs> but you know since press on nails are becoming popular there are a lot more full cover tips that are coming out i've even seen like duck nails so I want to get my hands on that too because I do want to provide duck nails for my customers who are interested in duck nails. But anyway, so we're going to be doing a set with these nails. We're going to be doing a set, a short square set because another frequent comment I got on my previous videos was, you know, I wasn't really doing short nails in any of my videos. So we're going to be doing a short set and then we are going to be doing an extra long XL square, paper squared uh, set. So yeah, so we're just gonna get into it. Um, before we start on the nails, um, I don't think I have a video on my page with stiletto nails. So I just wanna show you guys these nails that I did a couple days ago. Um, these are stiletto acrylic press-ons that I did. If you guys have not seen the trending viral denim nails that's been going around, I basically tried that out. So these are how they came out and these are so pretty, you guys. Um, I didn't do a video on these nails. I only did a TikTok and a YouTube shorts on these nails so if you haven't seen that make sure you guys check that out but if you want a regular youtube video like a full in-depth tutorial on how i did these denim nails then let me know and i can just do a video on that but for right now just make sure you check out my tiktok and my youtube shorts and you will see just a quick tutorial on how i accomplish these nails so we are going to get started with the ballerina coffin nails um the short square and the xl square um i am going to be doing acrylic press-ons with these so i'm gonna just start with the regular gel set because that will end up being the quickest in my opinion so we're gonna start with these and um we're gonna get everything set up and then i'll be right back okay so i have my nails 
on the stand. Um, and of course, the first thing you want to do is just file the bits just to give it a, you know, a cleaner finish, a cleaner edge. So I don't know why, I feel like not a lot of people are doing this, you know, coffin ballerina shape anymore. I feel like everybody, well, at least for me, like the people that I follow or see on my feed on social media, I don't see anyone doing this shape anymore. Like rarely I'll see it, you know, probably every other day <laughs> when I'm scrolling through social media, I'll see it. But for the most part, I feel like everybody is basically doing um, tapered square. And now the new trend that seems to be very popular is duck nails. So tapered square and duck nails, I feel like that's what everybody is doing these days. And I don't have a problem with that because I love me a tapered square set. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but I feel like, you know, when it comes to like customers or, you know, clients, no one is really asking for coffin anymore so basically the nails i'm going to be doing for this video um so my website is back up and running now you know i was gone for a little while selling press-ons um i took a long well-needed mental break so i wasn't selling press-ons for a while but i'm back um i did like a little rebranding for my brand and um my website is back up and running so but right now my website you can put in orders for custom press-ons so any you know design you want me to make personalized special for you you can put in your orders but for these sets that i'm making for this video i am just i want to um provide signature sets for my website so instead of like putting in an order for a custom set you know if you see some nails that i'm selling that you just want to order um oops, then that's basically what i'm making so i'm just making some signature sets for my website right now it's basically the same thing i've been doing previously on my website um i was providing like pre-made signature sets uh so that's basically what i'm doing just want to do some new designs i'm gonna try to keep these designs as simple as possible though because <laughs> i feel like it makes more sense to do the most work when it comes to like custom sets but for like signature sets i just want them to be simple so for these coffin nails i told myself i wasn't gonna do this design again i did this design last year back when the ombre french nails were trending all over social media and when i tried those nails um i told myself never again but here i am about to do them again so this is going to be an ombre french design but i think i'm just gonna do uh, a couple of them ombre french and then probably these two like a um crocodile print so yeah we're gonna do um we're gonna do a crocodile print slash ombre french so we're just gonna need some black i think i'm gonna do black and brown um and then i'm just gonna need a brown so i think i'm gonna do like a dark brown um it's between 45 and 39 so okay so i decided it's actually going to be between 39 and 40. i think we're just gonna go with 40 because this is since we are using black it's probably gonna be a little too dark to do a french a ombre french with that so we're gonna be using 40. and then also since this is going to be a gel set I have to make a custom nude. Oh my God. I don't have any nude polish because nude, um, well not nude, but like French nails are so popular. <laughs> so um, I run out of nude polish a lot quicker than any other color. So a lot of the times when I do a French nude, I mean a French set or just anything that consists of nude, um, I have to use a lot of polish to create a custom nude color um i know you guys are probably saying well why don't you just buy another nude like don't tell me what to do so we're gonna go back to our swatch sticks <laughs> and we're just gonna pick out a color to create our nude um so for the other two sets like i said i am gonna be doing acrylic press-ons so we're good with the nude for that one but for the gel set this thing is like all over the place we have to create our own nude so i like 30 but i don't i don't think i have any more of this right now because this is the main color that i use to um make my nude polishes so but we're gonna try to get what we can get out of 30. um and usually when i create my own nude colors i like to go according to my skin tone um well i have nails on right now so you can't really see but i usually just go by my natural nail bed and try to like i try to like uh, create the perfect shade according to my nail bed 
So I'm gonna figure this out off camera and then I'll be back. All right, so I just decided to go with 48 and 47 and kind of get what we can get out of 30. And we're gonna add some clear polish to this and we're gonna work our magic. When you've been doing nails for a while, you kind of have like this, you know, creative blood in your veins to where like you can make anything work basically. Um, and I feel like with the lighting, you probably can't really tell how perfect of a nude this looks. Well, I mean, it's nothing even in here. <laughs> um, I have to do like a major um, restock for my nail products. Like, oh my God, see, I'm not even paying attention, you guys. <laughs> like I'm looking at my camera just to make sure everything is in frame. And every time I look at the camera, I'm not looking down at the actual palette. So I wish I could see how like, when I edit the video, maybe you'll see the color a lot better. But right now I'm looking at the camera and like the camera is not picking up how pretty that looks. Like it looks like an actual like acrylic nude. But we're just gonna add some more of this. Um, since I did add too much base coat, it's probably gonna be a little too clear. All right, so for the sake of this video, um, everything is gonna be a voiceover from here on out. So we are gonna start with the French tip nails. First, since we did all this work to make our to make our nude. Okay, guys. So I am back with the voiceover, and we're just gonna get started on my journey with doing press on nails. How I got started, why I got started, and just you know the whole journey getting into the business. How has it been going for me? How has it gone for me when I first started? Where I am at now, and just you know everything. So I guess we could start with basically why I started wearing press ons um, and why I got into the business. So first things first, when it came to nails, I started wearing press on nails back in 2016. So I was about I would say 21, 22 at the time. Um, so one thing about me, I never 2016 is actually I think the very first time I ever got my nails done at the salon. So imagine being 22 years old and you just, you know, getting your nails done for the very first time. Um, but one thing about me, I've always been into beauty. So like my nails have always been done throughout, you know, the years of my life growing up, being a teenager, being a young adult, I've always done my nails, but they were always like natural nails. So I've always painted my natural nails. But as far as like tips and acrylics and stuff, I haven't gotten acrylics done for the first time until I was 22 years old. Um, I've always been into beauty. So yeah, I've always been into beauty. Um, back in 2017, I had launched my very first business, which was a cosmetic line. So I was basically selling beauty products, lip gloss, eyelashes, eyeshadow palettes, um, just, you know, your typical cosmetic stuff. So yeah, like, I've always just been into beauty um, and just doing things on my own. I've always done my own makeup. I've always done my own hair. I've never been to a hairstylist. I've never been to a makeup artist. Like I literally do everything by myself. So of course, you know, when it comes to nails, I'm gonna do nails on my own. That's like, that's just how I always looked at it. So just fast forward to like my first experience at 22, getting my nails done at the salon. It was a horrible experience. Um, I've only got my nails done three times my whole life in the salon. And each of those three times, it just wasn't a good experience for me. I'm very picky when it comes to um, my beauty essentials. Like I mentioned before, like I do my own makeup, I do my own hair. So anything beauty wise, I'm, I am very picky. I don't like nobody touching anything on my body. I don't want nobody touching my hair. I don't want nobody touching my make my face, my makeup, my nails. I'm just very picky and I just rather do it myself. So that's was my mindset. That's how my mindset has always been. So yeah. So like I said, I started my first business in 2017 with my cosmetic line. So fast forward to 2018 is when I initially wanted to start a press on nail business um, because I've been wearing press on nails at that point for two years. And I told myself, you know what? I should start, you know, making press on nails. But at the time in 2018, I wasn't really, was always usually just doing like solid color sets. I wasn't really doing designs and anything fancy like that. So. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself some time before I, you know, branch into this business without, you know, the proper skills that I needed to have. So fast forward to 2019, um, that's when I started to try to get back into, um, you know, finally 
trying to launch my press on nail business. So in May of 2019, that's when I posted the very first video on my channel um, with the green, the lime green nails. Yeah, I did my research on, you know, products that I needed to get in order to make press on nails. I did my research watching other videos on how to do press on nails. Um, so yeah, so I posted my very first video. And like I said, in the beginning of this video, that video did help gain a lot of like traction towards my channel. Um, from that point on, once that video, I think that video has like 27,000 views. So that video, it gained me a good amount of subscribers. And from that point on, that's when I, you know, I just like fell in love with making press on design. So I just started posting videos. A lot of my videos have been deleted um but i was posting like a lot of videos see i was just posting a lot of videos i was doing nails probably like every other day i was doing my mom's nails i was literally like just i was so in love with doing press ons so um so fast forward to 2020 of course you know when the pandemic happened they were all in quarantine um i did have aspirations in being a nail tech um aside from just you know aside from you know selling press on nails i also wanted to be a nail tech during quarantine that's when i kind of like you know started pouring into my nail business so during quarantine when i started you know taking clients and doing nail appointments i started off mainly doing gel x and press-ons um i wasn't very comfortable when it came to acrylic nails at all so my main focus was to do basically gel x and press-on nails you know when i first started taking clients a lot of them wasn't really into gel x and press-ons you know for the most part, the clients that I did have, they were willing to try Gel X um, because during quarantine, you know, everybody was like, everybody wanted their nails done because everything was shut down. So at that point, it was a lot of girls who said like, you know what, like, I'm gonna just try the Gel X <laughs> because I just need my nails done. So I felt like during that time, I was kind of like, I was pouring into my business, but I was also kind of like, you know, trying my best to learn how to perfect acrylic nails. But all in all, press on nails and gel x were like has always been my thing like it was probably it was just always the easiest thing for me to do as far as doing nails so yeah so that's what brings me to my video that has almost 300,000 views um i posted that video because i had just started getting into um selling press on nails i started my press on nail business and i put that video out there just you know to basically um i guess gain some traffic towards my business um my instagram my website that was the whole purpose of that video and it blew up i was not expecting it to blow up honestly but it really blew up and um from that point on i felt like you know a lot of people were getting into press-ons during that time not a lot of nail techs were doing press-ons at that time i felt like a couple of nail techs like a handful of nail techs were doing press-ons but like for the most part a lot of nail techs were doing you know just simple acrylics so i feel like that's kind of why when it came to me i kind of like self-proclaimed myself as a press on princess because i feel like i was probably like the only one at the time that i knew like who was really like deeply into press on nails and um so that kind of brings me to just the journey once i started my business you know how did it go for me and where i am at now so at the time when I very first launched my press on nail business, I feel like I was doing very well when it came to sales, when it came to, you know, selling press ons, getting customers, gaining customers. Um, I gained a lot of viewers on YouTube. I gained a lot of followers on Instagram. You know, it was I felt like, you know, everything was thriving in the beginning, in my opinion. I had people that was recommending me um everything was just going well in the beginning and of course you know sometimes when life happens we we get in a space in our life where you know we just have to take a break so in the midst of me starting my business i ended up i ended up having getting pregnant with twins <laughs> so I, and i kind of spoke about it briefly in one of my previous videos um i can't remember which video it was but um yeah like i just you know it was it was hard being pregnant with twins because I got really sick, of course, you know, carrying two babies. And I was sick to the point where I couldn't like function for like three months out of my pregnancy. Um, I lost 30 pounds. I couldn't eat or drink anything. Like I was literally like suffering during my first three months of my pregnancy. So, you know, I took a long break from my nail business and I feel like it kind of like 
I feel like everything was at a standstill at that point when it came to my business. But all in all, I was still like periodically selling press on nails. Um, it was mainly like, it was mainly just um, the clients that I was taking as a nail tech. Um, that's kind of what really stopped throughout my whole situation with being pregnant. It was mainly like taking clients that really stopped. But as far as like selling press on nails, I feel like I was doing it periodically. And then I came back, I think probably like a year later, I did some, you know, like rebranding and things like that. And, you know, of course I had like, we all have those faithful, like real loyal, faithful, supportive friends and family and supporters who they wouldn't go to anybody else if it's not you, you know? So I, of course I had a handful of those people who really supported me and, you know, was still, I would still go out my way to make press on nails for them or you know when i came back from my year-long break they were there waiting for me <laughs> it was just a lot going on in my personal life to where i feel like it kind of like you know put my business on a standstill the one thing i will say um when it comes to you know running a business or you know starting or starting a business i feel like having real loyal supporters by your side will always help you out in the long run because those times where you are gone for a while i don't know if this experience is for everybody but i feel like in my experience whenever and one thing about me if you know me personally i disappear a lot i have like a really bad habit of disappearing for months for a year at a time like i disappear a lot because you know i go through a lot of like just mental episodes where i just really need a mental break you know so there are a lot of times where I do need to disappear and just, you know, take some time to myself. And I feel like in my experience, every time I end up doing that and I try to get back into whatever it is that I was doing, I feel like I don't really get the support or the same support that I was once getting before, you know, I took my break. And I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Like, like I said, maybe it's just me that, that experienced that, but all in all, I just feel like if you have like real loyal, faithful supporters that go hard for you deeply then you know it will make your business it will make your success worth the while so with that being said you know there was another point in time throughout my you know nail business where i took another year-long break um and that was because i ended up moving to another state and once i moved to another state you know moving out of state is hard within itself but i feel like when it comes to like running a business it's even harder because especially if you like if you're just moving like you know to a new neighborhood or you know somewhere close by i don't think it's really that hard but for me i'm from new york and i ended up moving to north carolina and that's a very big move you know i went from up north to down south and it was just you know for a whole year i was just going through a lot mentally um adjusting to being in a whole new state and um you know like i said like when you have a business you know especially like a business like being a nail tech you know something where you have to take clients and things like that you know i had to put my i had to put my business on hold again because i knew for a fact that you know i don't know nobody in, in north carolina charlotte to be exact um i have I had no family out here no friends out here like whatsoever like so it was it was difficult trying to get back into that business knowing i had to start from scratch when it came to you know gaining customers and clientele and then on top of all of that all of my nail stuff was still in new york for a few months and i had to get everything sent out to north carolina and if you guys saw my video on my updated nail room tour you would see like i had a whole nail room whole nail room <laughs> so imagine having to you know take down a whole entire nail room and pack everything up you know so it was a lot of stuff that i needed that i didn't have with me for a couple of months so everything had to be sent out to me so that was another reason why i had to take a break from my business because i didn't have any of my stuff with me for a couple of months so once i did get you know my things it wasn't every single thing that i had back in new york but it was most of it so at that point it just came down to you know just getting everything back in order after several months that's when i tried to get back into selling press-ons and like i mentioned before you know i had of course i had my little handful like literally when i say handful i mean literally a handful <laughs> like one to five people who are like true faithful supporters of mine who are ordering press-ons and you know like i said they waited for me they wasn't getting their nails done by nobody else they wasn't ordering press-ons for nobody else like they literally waited for me to get back 
to myself and get back into my business i ended up making an etsy shop to sell press-ons again this was like about last year this is like around last year and that didn't really go the way i wanted it to go as far as like getting sales and stuff like that like i said you know when you're gone for a long time i feel like in my experience it's just a lot of people don't really stick around and they're just not really there for you and i don't know why like i said i don't know if it's just me that experiences that that experienced that but if it is just me that experiences that then i don't know why i experienced that but you know i ended up shutting down my etsy site after a few months because i just felt like you know it wasn't you know i wasn't getting any orders for a while and i ended up disappearing again um <laughs> at this point i feel like the moral of the story is stop going on mental breaks because i go on a lot of mental breaks and i went on another mental break for like almost another year and um, yeah i was gone for a while as you guys see like i have not posted like videos in like a year um and you know i was just you know i was just going through a lot mentally there were new things going on in my life that i had to adjust to and that i was just like really going i was just really going through it so that brings me to where i am at now um i recently came back to youtube a couple weeks ago i came back to my nail page on instagram and i just been trying my hardest to be very consistent for these past few weeks now um i just relaunched rebranded you know nails by 10 i relaunched my website and um i'm hoping for a better outcome this time around like i stated before at the time when i first started my press on nail business not a lot of people were into press on nails and not a lot of people were selling press on nails so i felt like that's kind of why i was getting a lot of attention and i was getting a lot of you know orders and clients and customers because you know not too many people were doing press on nails so it wasn't really much of a competition to you know go off of but within those within these three years that has passed since you know i posted that video and since i started my nail business everybody's been everybody's doing press on nails <laughs> and you know there is a lot of competition out there everybody's doing press on nails now compared to three years ago and when i say everybody i mean like literally everybody's doing press on nails now so I guess my advice to anyone who is interested in doing press on nails, just make sure you're pouring into your craft. If this is something that you want to do because you love doing it, then make sure you pour into it. You know, don't, don't just say you want to sell press on nails because, because you see everybody else doing it. You know, if this isn't your passion, then I don't really think you need to be doing it in the first place. If this is something that you really want to do, make sure you're pouring into your craft, you know, keep practicing, just keep being consistent every single day, practice, 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 you know, if you got to do nails every day, five hours out your day, 10 hours out your day, three hours out your day, keep practicing for however long that you need to, um, just so you can perfect your craft, just so you could be great at what you're doing. Um, work on your designs look up what's trending on social media like what nail trends are trending on social media keep posting on instagram keep posting on youtube keep posting on tiktok just keep posting on whatever social media platform you have get your name out there brand yourself completely and just you know just pour into your craft i feel like that's the best advice i can give just pour into your craft and stay consistent definitely definitely stay consistent and um the right the right people the right supporters they will come pouring into you when you least suspect it okay so now we're gonna get into the q a portion of the video so just to make everything simple for myself i chose 10 questions 10 of the most repetitive questions that i saw in my previous press on nail business video that video had almost 400 comments so number one and when i say number one i mean number one like the most top repetitive question on that video was how do I know what nail sizes to use for my customers? If I'm not mistaken, I already addressed this question in my video on how to apply press on nails. But if you have not seen that video, then I will readdress it in this video. So basically how I know what sizes to use. I provide a nail sizing chart, a standard nail sizing chart on my website, on my Instagram page. It ranges from extra small to large. So basically you would have to measure your nail beds from sidewall to sidewall, write down your measurements, and basically you compare your measurements to the standard nail sizing chart and it will basically tell you whether you're extra small small large medium etc if your nails do not measure up to the standard nail sizing chart then you provide your custom measurements to me or whoever your desired nail tech is 
and that will basically determine what size to use for your press-ons. But if that seems to be a little too complicated and confusing, I do provide nail sizing kits and I feel like the nail sizing kits are like the best way to know what your nail sizes are because it just gives the best, most accurate fitting for your own personal nails basically. Question number two was also very repetitive and for the sake of this video since I didn't really do much of a talk through when I was designing these three nails I'm pretty sure you guys are probably gonna ask you know aren't you supposed to buff the nails so that's question number two that I saw a lot in my previous video do you need to buff the nails before applying gel polish do you need to apply a base coat first it all just depends on preference um I've been doing nails for three to four years and honestly I have not dealt with any substantial differences when it comes to my durability and application whether or not I buff or apply base coat honestly it all has been the same for me there's really no difference that I have experienced. Question number three was how long does it take me to make a set? Um, I feel like that one is kind of self-explanatory. It all just depends on the complexity of the design that I am doing. You know, some designs obviously will take longer than others. If I'm doing a solid color, one color set, that will take me about, you know, 20 minutes maybe. If I'm doing a complex, intricate design, then that will take me a lot longer. Question number four, what websites should you use to start your press on business or to start selling nails? Um, I would say Shopify is probably one of the most popular websites. That's what I have used in the past. You can also use Wix, Big Cartel. Um, that's what I'm currently using. And you can use Etsy. Also, you can use a Facebook um, Instagram shop where you can you know sell your items on your Facebook and Instagram page question number five are press-ons reusable yes they are reusable as long as you take care of the nails of course if you damage your nails if you break a nail you cannot reuse them but if you take good care of your nails then yes you can reuse them question number six can you use regular nail polish instead of gel polish you can use whatever you want that is your preference the only thing i would say about regular gel po regular nail polish is that it takes a lot longer to dry and when it comes to gel nail polish i feel like gel the quality of gel is much better also acrylic nails acrylic press on nails the quality is much better i would say compared to regular nail polish but at the end of the day if you feel like it's too expensive to afford gel polish or acrylic then by all means use regular nail polish it is all up to your preference question number seven i saw a couple people ask can you use gel instead of nail glue to apply your press-ons um yes you can because that's basically the same thing as doing you know the gel x a prey gel x you know type of nails if you don't want to use the glue using gel to adhere your nails is definitely a good option that's honestly what i do most of the time now question number eight a lot of people ask do i provide glue when i ship out the nails yes i provide glue um if you stay tuned to the end of the video i will basically show you guys what i do provide in my packaging Question number nine, I saw this question a lot as well. Do I provide more than 10 nails? Um, it depends on the set. Most of the time, no. But if I'm doing a set where every single finger is the same design, then yes, I will provide every single nail size. But if it's a very specific design where, you know, I want, you know, the pinky nail to be a certain way or I want the index nail to be a certain way, then most of the time I will not provide every size because it's just a lot more work trying to figure out or assume what this person's nail size is going to be for that specific design, if that makes sense. So if it's not a simple solid color design or a design where every single nail is the same, then I'm not going to provide every nail size. And the last most common question I got was how long do press on nails last? Um, press on nails last for as long as you allow them to last. Um, I will say proper nail prep is essential to your nails lasting a lot longer. So make sure you prep your nails correctly in order for them, in order for them to stay on your nails for a long time. Also, if you are a person who's very busy with your hands, if you have a certain job or you know you do a lot of things on a day-to-day -day basis with your hands, um, I feel like the length matters with that because if you're a very hands-on person and you have long nails, I feel like it wouldn't really last longer the way short nails would last. Um, for example, these green nails that I have on my hands right now, um, I have not had one nail break or fall off since I've had these nails on. But usually when I'm ha usually when I have longer nails on, I hit my nail a lot. I do a lot with my hands, so a, a nail will usually fall off faster with longer nails for me compared to when I have shorter nails on. And also, your application depends on how long they last. So if you're using glue to apply your nails um and if you're using like a gel x you know method the gel x method would allow your nails to last longer than it would if you apply glue basically so but yes that's the most frequently asked questions i hope that answered most of you guys's questions and we're going to get into everything that you'll need for your press on nail business
All right, you guys, so now we're gonna get into everything that you will need in order to start your press on nail business. So first things first, you're gonna need a nail stand, obviously, in order to make the press on nails. Secondly, you will need packaging. I was previously using boxes, um, jewelry craft boxes in order to ship out my nails, well, to package my nails. Right now, I am currently using this uh, photo paper. I had these for something else specifically. I forgot what I was using these for, but when I ran out of boxes for my nails, I had two of these photo, I had two packages of these photo papers laying around and I'm like, you know what? Instead of buying more boxes, I can just use this for my nails because I see, you know, certain nail techs using something similar. I don't know if this is exactly what they use, but I've seen, you know, similar things being used for their press on nails. Also, you will need double-sided, um, adhesive tape very strong and durable so i already have one that's opened right now so I'll, i will be using this one they do have one they do have tape that's a lot slimmer um i was using slimmer ones before i usually use the slimmer ones when i'm doing like a short press on set but these um thicker wider tapes i usually use them for when i'm doing like extra long nails or like longer nails so that the nails can like stay on the tape because if you put longer nails on the slimmer tape sometimes they won't stick they'll like fall apart sometimes so um either or you can use the wider ones or the slimmer ones and this stuff is really strong you guys so just make sure you don't like get it caught to anything because it will be hard to take off and you know a lot of things easily like dirt and hair can easily get caught into these um into the tape so you just want to be careful with that um so the next thing you will need of course is some logo stickers for your business um so these are my this is actually my old logo but i still have plenty of stickers left so it didn't make any sense for me to create stickers with my new logo um you can pretty much get stickers anywhere i usually for all of my businesses that i've had i usually used to always get a lot of my um business essentials from vistaprint.com so all of my logo stickers business cards all of that good stuff i usually get from vistaprint but you can also get it from amazon this actually these stickers that i'm using right now i actually got from amazon um you could just type in you know custom logo stickers oh you can also try etsy just anywhere where you search up custom logo stickers that's where you can get them from the same thing goes for business cards as well um as you can see i was struggling because my sticker was not centered and i'm like a perfectionist so i have to like so i have to make sure i centered it off camera um so yeah so right now i'm using the tweezers to get the plastic off of this tape and as you can see like this tape is like really tricky so you just want to make sure you use your tweezers in order to like really get it off you just want to hang on to it as tightly as you can because if you let go it's going to fall right back into the tape but right now we're just going to apply the nails to the tape and i usually like to apply um i start with the thumbs first the thumbnails side by side and then on each side of the thumb i go you know index finger middle finger ring finger and then pinky um and i try to just make sure everything is centered perfectly and evenly So this is the outcome um once they are all taped down and these nails are so pretty all of these nails i did in this video are super pretty i really love them all um so right now i'm just posing my nails <laughs> to in order to get a thumbnail for my video so we can just enjoy the view of these nails real quick okay so now the next thing you'll need um these are the items that i use for my packaging when i ship out my nails so of course um, I provide glue to my customers. So this is the glue. Um, I usually use KDS glue, but any glue is fine, honestly. Um, well, not any glue, but KDS and this glue right here. Um, by the way, I will make sure I link everything down in the description box for you guys to purchase any of these items that you need for your business. So you also will need nail buffers. So I also provide this in my packaging as well. These super cute little pink nail buffers. And I also provide uh, nail files to my customers. So I usually provide two of the nail files um, since they are little tiny little nail files. Um, I usually provide two of them in the packaging. 
So next thing you will need to provide for your customers is some alcohol pads. Um, of course, you know, we want to make sure that we are being very sanitary but you know aside from being sanitary the alcohol pads help to remove you know the shine from your nails and then you will also need to provide some cuticle sticks for your customers um some people use the nail file to push back their cuticles but um if you do have cuticle sticks then definitely send those out to your customers as well um i usually use the pink ones um in my packaging I also provide instructions, these cute little instruction cards on how to apply and remove your press on nails. So this is a double sided card on one side. It shows you how to apply the nails. As you can see right now, um, it's an eight step instruction on how to apply your nails and on the other side is going to be the opposite. So it is a seven step instruction on how to remove your nails safely <laughs> so um, you don't want to be ripping your nails off so yeah this is very helpful especially for people who are new to wearing press on nails um this card is very useful and very helpful and informative making sure you're properly caring for your nails and of course you need business cards um i actually had a whole box like probably a thousand a box worth of like a thousand business cards back when i was living in new york but when I got all of my stuff shipped out here. I honestly don't know what happened to my business cards, but it was a lot of business cards that I had. So um, I haven't really had the opportunity to order new ones. So I just got these regular thank you cards um, instead until I am able to order some new business cards. Um, so yeah, I just, I just provide these little cute little thank you cards. It says thanks gorgeous for supporting my business. Um, so I provide that to my customers, but if you do have business cards, definitely, of course use, or you can do both. You can use a business card and a thank you card to your customers. And then for the overall packaging, as far as like where I place my nails into, I do have these, uh, clear treat bags. Um, so these are kind of like versatile, you know, you can, you can use these for treats. Like if you a baker and you sell like treats and candies and cookies and things like that. But for me, I'm using these for my nails. So it's, um, it's really clear and you just basically put everything inside of the bag. Um, so right now I'm just going to pack this for you guys on camera so you can see how everything goes. I actually packed it the wrong way here because the um, side where you tape it down actually goes to, I mean, you can tape it anywhere you want, but I personally like it towards the back. So in a minute, you guys will see me switching it around. So here I am just posing for another thumbnail picture <laughs> for my video. I just can't get over how adorable these nails look. So anyways, so now we're going to get into the finishing touches of the packaging when I ship out my nails. So right here, um, I use two different sizes of packaging. Um, I use these cute pink little bubble mailers. They come in all different types of sizes and colors, so definitely choose what you prefer. But I love me some pink, so I got two different pink shades. Um, the smaller shade, I, the smaller size I use usually if I'm just shipping out like a small order or like one set of nails. The bigger packaging I usually use for, you know, of course, larger orders. You know, if somebody's ordering multiple sets of nails, then the bigger packaging will come in handy but yeah that's basically it so here we are again with another thumbnail <laughs> pose and last but not least i am showing you guys the nail sizing kits so for those of you who don't know um what your nail sizes are and if you don't know how to measure your nails or if you feel like measuring your nails seems a bit complicated or confusing then i do provide nail sizing kits um so i provide a kit for all the sizes that i provide on my um website so i have short square i have long ballerina slash coffin i have xl square xl stiletto xl ballerina 
um, and XXL square. So those are all the sizes that I provide on my site. And yeah, so I feel like, you know, this is definitely a better, more accurate method into knowing what your nail sizes are. Also, your nail sizes do kind of differ depending on whichever shape you are going for. So for instance, if you are a certain, you know, if your nails are a certain size in this XL stiletto shape, I cannot guarantee you that you will be the same size in like a short square or a, you know, long ballerina basically so definitely purchase a nail sizing kit just to make sure you get the accurate the most accurate measurement for your nails but yeah that's it you guys i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found this video very informative if you are interested in starting a press on nail business i hope i answered all of the questions that you guys had and also i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do these beautiful nails that i did in this video um and yeah so thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe of course and hit the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video and i appreciate all of you guys for your support definitely check out my website if you do want to purchase some custom nails follow me on all my socials and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching